Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Johanna. For those of you who are new here, welcome. For those of you who are returning, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to do something a little different. I'm going to be showing you um, my coloring book collection as well as what I have completed in my coloring book collection. And if that is of interest to you, please stay tuned. So when I sit down and color here on my desk, usually, sometimes at work, and I'll talk about that in a little bit, um, I like to turn on YouTube. And specifically, I'll either watch videos from my planner buddies here on YouTube, or I love watching the completed coloring pages from ver various um, ladies and gents here on YouTube. And then I feel like I'm just sitting with a friend and um, I'm coloring and checking out what they have colored. And so I have watched tons of them. And from the color tube perspective, those are the videos that I enjoy enjoy the most. I'll watch a few tutorials here and there, but I'm not really looking at leveling up my coloring skill. If I can glean some information, that's cool. Um, I've really tried to stop watching haul videos just because th then I want the things. <laughs> But the completed coloring pages, um, if you're interested, go ahead and just uh, put that in the YouTube search and you'll just find a whole bunch of people that they're going to be doing what I'm going to be doing is a flip through of everything they've completed within a certain time frame. For me, it's going to be January and February of 2021. Now we're going to start off with these three here only because I have not touched these at all. Uh, this one is a new one I had picked up in Walmart last weekend. I liked it when I saw it in a flip through because I like that there's a picture on the side of what this could look like. Now I've seen some really talented people who do coloring. Um, not be able to achieve the exact look of this. This is the Thomas Kincaid Disney Princess coloring book, and that's because the Thomas Kincaid original drawing or picture, I believe is done in oils. And so you're just not going to get the vibrancy and the texture, but at least you have a reference. Um, I liked the Forest Girls by Opal uh, because it gives you a reference picture. You can have it look like that. You can go your own way, but I just, I like seeing something. I have not worked at all in this one, and I have not worked at all in this one. This is Darius Song's The Time Garden, and this is Joanna Basford's Joanna's Christmas. Now these are the ones that I have worked on and we're actually going to start with this one. This is a coloring book that I have picked up at Daiso. As you can see, there's, there's no pages. And the reason for that is because I have put it in my work planner. And so for the month of February, actually let me move this out of the way, what I did was I cut down some of those pages. This is an A5 Stology, and I've included them in here. Now, I don't, I have not included coloring pages in my work planner before, but obviously I'm no stranger to color. <laughs> so I thought, well, wouldn't it be fun to add some pages in here? I had that on hand, and so I just cut it down. And so this is the completed page here. And basically I just took one of those pages and cut it into thirds. I am going to consider this completed because of what I have in here, this page is complete. And then another page that I have completed is this one here again out of the same coloring book uh, for all of the pictures that you're going to see uh, predominantly is Crayolas or Tizas or Prisma color pencils and then every once and again you'll see either Sarasa pens because it's what I have or mild liners I don't use a lot of other things and I'll show you in just a second where those Sarasa pens come in now I did add a coloring page there I do have there and there. Now the month is done. It is currently Friday the 26th, but uh, because this particular work planner is going to carry me through June, I like having these coloring pages in here because for March I'm not doing a coloring page theme and 
I can always come back to this and I color either during my lunch break, sometimes if I get to the office early, or during meetings where I don't really have to pay that much attention. So that's the first ones that I wanted to show you. I wanted to show you the journey to the secret garden next and there's two reasons for that. Uh, so the first reason is I was able to finish two pages in here. Now I have to tell you it was a little silly on my part because I opened this up and I thought well that's, that's a really pretty picture. It's detailed but it's not too heavy by way of things that need to be colored. I'm perfectly happy with a white background and so I colored this. I started down with a wash of mild liners and then I just use color pencils on top of it. Where the silly feeling comes from is uh, this is the actual page I think you're supposed to color. <laughs> it's the exact same thing. I don't know why they tried to fake you out like that but yeah so I will be coloring it again and because I already have it in this colorway then this uh, when I do it this one here I will do it in a different colorway I don't know how yet but I will and then the other one that I finished was this one here and this is a two page spread. It is basically a mirror of each other. And so when I do this one, which won't be next, but when I do, I'm going to do this um, by way of like fantasy. So there's going to be a lot more purples and blues and pinks than this one. And so this will be like the woodland version and then like the fairy fantasy realm version. At least that's how I see it in my head. I do keep vellum in between. I have seen here on YouTube that people like to either keep vellum or tracing paper or just something between their pages so that some of the pencil or ink or whatever you might not might use won't transfer to the other page there. Now the second reason I want to show this one to you first like my work planner, this is my daily journal. Uh, this is a Happy Planner Skinny Classic, and for the month of February, I cut down some of the pages from the Secret Library, and I put it in here. And so that has been completed, as well as these here, and that one there. And then these two here, and those are the last ones that I've completed in here. It is currently February 26th. I will be doing some coloring this weekend, but um, I'm pretty sure I won't be finishing anything this weekend. Now I do have some coloring to do here, and here, and here, and here. But again, I like that it's in here, and so um, when I do some coloring, Later on this weekend and into March, these are the pictures that I'm going to be finishing up. Again, just like my work planner for March, I'm not going to be doing coloring pages, but I'm really happy how these came out. And this is where the Sarasa came in. So for the lines on the book spines, I use these or any of the detailed. I use the various vintage Sarasa pens that I had or a black Sarasa pen just because um, I'm more of a journaling channel than I am a coloring channel, and so I have tons of pens in that respect. But I wanted to show you that because I'm just really proud of that. And again, majority of it is Crayola pencils, Artezas, or Prismacolors. All right, so for this one, uh, this is Forest Girls Coloring Book by Opal. It's a Korean coloring book. I did finish this picture right here. And this is what I was talking about earlier when I showed you the Disney coloring book in that it gives you a point of reference. Now obviously that does not look like that, but I think there's a really good representation and it's definitely more detailed and more varied than I would have made it. So I probably would have just painted the entire sky blue and I would have made all of the trees green. So I love coloring books that have that. I thought this would be way more intimidating than it was, but if you just go segment by segment and then you are pretty light on your layers, you can actually just keep adding to. And I just think this is so pretty. And I have not started another one but this is definitely one that I'd like to finish a page on a monthly basis. 
This is Nice Little Town. I believe this is the first book in this series. And the one that I finished is this one right here. Now I have to tell you, I wasn't a huge fan of the paper quality, but this is not a result of the paper quality. This is just a result of, I didn't know exactly how to achieve the effect that I wanted. And probably about 75% of the way in, I was just over it. And so I wanted to look like the shop downstairs, uh, that it was nighttime, that the shop was dark, but that the lights were illuminated, that the lights are illuminating the stained glass, and I did that with mild liners, but that the family was upstairs, and so that would be nice and bright. I think perhaps I should have made this darker, I, I don't know. Most of this actually was done with Crayolas and then some Artezas at the last. I think I could have done this better. But yeah, I got bored with it, but I also didn't want it to be just sitting unfinished. And so I just made myself finish it. I mean, it's not horrible. And I do like the brickwork. I just, yeah. There's just something about it that I, I'm not a huge fan of. And I will be working in this one, but of the different coloring books that I have, um, this is probably lowest on the priority, just because the, the paper uh, quality isn't that great. For this one, I completed one, which is this one right here. And I actually started this late January, but I didn't finish it until recently. And if you notice any of the flowers looking different, uh, it's because I made the mistake of not coloring the same flower at the same time. And what I mean by that is I had started, I think, on this side and I was working my way this side. And so when I got to this flower, I mean, it looks pretty good, but... I had forgotten what colors I used. When I did this flower down here, I had forgotten what color I used, so I just had to make uh, the best approximation. I mean, it makes it look similar enough. They shouldn't be twins. They should be like your eyebrows. They should be sisters and not identical. <laughs> but yeah, I just, I realized that when I was finishing this up, because this is really the section that I finished up, and that one down there, that Okay, I'm pretty sure it was Crayolas, it might have been Prismas, but yeah, I, I wasn't 100% sure. Now this one here is, and that's actually the end of my completed pages. Now this is going to be a perpetual work in progress because I know what I wanted from this page, but I did not know how to achieve it. And because of the products I was using, like the blue that you see here was all Crayolas. Um, I think I've ruined the tooth of some of the page because I actually would like this darker. I want it to look like a dark sky lightened here at the top and then all of the lamps illuminated. So this is just going to be a tester page. And so as I'm working in the rest of this book, if I need to figure out color combinations, I can just come to this page here. I know there's a tester page in the back, but I will not be finishing this because I just don't like the way that it looks. And then the only other page that's a work in progress is this one here. This we're actually doing on camera together. The next one I'm going to be doing is this one, which will be summer, and this one will be fall, just because I, I want to be able to differentiate between these groups. And then I will probably do a little bit of journaling here. Like I've mentioned previously, I like a white background, so I'm not going to be doing anything in either here or in here other than some writing. Now next to the Forest Girls, I think this might be my favorite coloring book. This one is a recent purchase, but <laughs> this is the first page that I've started, and I can tell you right now, I'm not a huge fan. Uh, originally, uh, what I wanted to do was just do some background coloring around certain elements, but then that looked weird to me. And so then I started doing this, but I wanted to look like there's some clouds. Yeah, not a huge fan of this one, but I will be finishing this page um, either this weekend or in March. And I mean, it's all a learning experience, right? But I just, yeah. <laughs> 
I, I just really like this and it gives me kind of the same vibes as the Joanna Basford coloring book with some of the vibes of the forest girls but it isn't so leaf heavy and it isn't as detailed as the forest girls because in Joanna Basford's one I mean they're just detailed flowers and leaves and flowers and leaves all over the place. I think this has a lot of variety and you can do lots of things with this. Well, you can do lots of things with all the coloring books. I just like it that it's detailed and yet it's a little bit simpler. And I've seen on YouTube that when I look at something like this, I just, okay, well, you're gonna color the house one color and the sky one color, but people have um, drawn in bricks or woodworking and made this a night sky or a sunset sky. They've added some pebbles down here. I, I would never have assumed to alter a coloring page other than putting color on the page, but making the, it look like a brick facade or doing some ornate or taking things out. There was a channel that I saw that she took away all of this and just made that into a night sky. It was so beautiful. <laughs> Yeah, that's the last work in progress that I have. As I said, my favorite coloring type of videos are the completed pages. Uh, because I do lots of journaling and I also work full time, uh, I don't color as much as many. And when I do, I'm, I'm quite slow at it. But I just wanted to share that with you guys. And if you know of any coloring channels that I should check out that do completed coloring pages videos, definitely leave them in the comment section below. All right, guys, well, that's it for me for now. And as always, aloha.